Well, good morning to you. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. It was October 29th, 1941, and Winston Churchill had gone back to his old school, Harrow on the Hill. He went there in order to, in his words, at your headmaster's kind invitation, in order to cheer myself and to cheer the hearts of a few of my friends by singing some of our old songs. It was a speech delivered to the school that became known as the Never Give In speech. At the end of it, he makes reference to a song lyric that went, not less we praise in darker days. He said that the lyric needed to be altered and he ended his speech with these words. Do not let us speak of darker days. Let us speak rather of sterner days. These are not dark days. These are great days. The greatest days our country has ever lived. And we must all thank God that we have been allowed, each of us, according to our stations, to play a part in making these days memorable in the history of our race. It takes a courageous man to stand in the middle of a war and uh, declare those uh, some of the country's greatest days. You know, I'm standing here in a, in a room that was uh, dedicated for the purpose of uh, God's people coming together and singing his songs, coming together to worship and, and honor him. And one of the things that uh, we do uh, right here in this room is praise our Lord uh, together. I miss that. I miss you. And I, I know that uh, the time is coming when we'll all be able to gather again together uh, right here and sing his praises. And so uh, I hold on to that encouragement. And uh, I think of the words of Hebrews chapter 13. It says there, through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that confess his name. But the author of Hebrews goes on to remind us of this fact, too. He, he says uh, in the very next verse, do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. So he gives us, in a sense, a list, singing his praises, which we can do together, of course, in a room like this. We can also do it uh, individually and raise our praises up to him. But the author also reminds us that the Lord is pleased when we share with others, when we do good deeds, offerings that the Lord wants us to give to him. That's amazing when we think that he who owns everything, the God of the universe, wants to receive these offerings. So let us sing his praises. Let us share with others. Let us keep doing good deeds. And in due time, we'll gather again here to sing his praises, knowing that those praises are an offering that pleases our God. I hope you have a great day praising him and may God bless you.